Hi guys, it's me Adam. So if you saw my last video, my 12 jumbo Japanese quails arrived and here they are now in the incubator. This is my manual turning mini eco incubator from Brinzy. And here are the eggs. If you see on the eggs on the top they have a cross and on the bottom they have a circle. So I don't know if I turn them or not. So I turn them three times a day. I should be turning them three times a day. And I will do that. So the yolk doesn't stick to the shell. I put them in the incubator about three hours ago. So I should turn them in about three hours time because they need six hours. So the humidity stabilizes. They came in this package. It's very well packaged. It's a normal quail egg box. There's some quails. Hmm. Okay, so this incubator is a mini eco incubator. And as you can see, this red flashing dot here means that the temperature on this thermometer and the temperature in the incubator stabilize. But if you do get this incubator, the red dot should stay on. That means it's still heating up. In the middle of there, there is a water pot and it's split into two but you can't really see that at the moment it's split into two in the middle so when you first get the eggs and put them in the incubator you need to fill half of them half well half of the pot so like one half of it and keep it like keep make sure there's water in there but it doesn't matter how high but just make sure that there's at least one pot filled and the last two days you fill both pots so that means that the Humidity in the incubator will rise, so that makes it nice and humid for them to hatch. If, I don't think you can see, but there's a fan up there, and that fan just makes every egg nice and warm as it moves the heat around the incubator. This thermometer here is very accurate. Right now it's 37.5 degrees. I don't think you can see that. But yeah, it's 37.5 degrees Celsius, so that's about 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. To adjust the temperature, there's a small adjusting hole here. You put, well, you can use a two millimeter screw to adjust it. If you turn clockwise one quarter, it will rise the temperature by two degrees Celsius. That's four degrees Fahrenheit. And if you turn it anti-clockwise, it's just vice versa. These quail eggs should be 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, but let's just hope they hatch really. <laughs> 24 hours before the quail eggs went in the incubator, I kept them, well, I rested them with the pointy end down because that's what they have to do. You have to do. So, because they've just been through the postal system, so that's how they you have to rest them like the pointy end downwards also if you when you do that afterwards or before you have to set up the incubator to stabilize temperature and that's what i did and hopefully it'll be fine so on the next video i'll show you how to turn the eggs or how i turn the eggs so thank you for watching if you would like to email me, my email address is below. So, yeah. You can ask me any questions. I hopefully can answer them. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, you could also add a comment below or a question. So, thank you for watching, guys. See you on the next video. Bye.